Hello everybody, here we are again. Uh, Thursday, bright and shiny, and I'm coming to you as Celestial Farm Girl, planting the seeds of the higher consciousness to rise us above that which is um, held us back, held us down, to rise into our two, true inheritance of this planet, which was intended for every creature on it, to ascend, to find better life, to purify, to move forward, to find new life force and chi, to begin to feel good about ourselves and our planet, to uh, find union with the with everything, with the plants, with the creatures, with God, with the universe, with the planets, uh, to where as we realize that we are a part of the universe itself, not just the earth, but of the whole creation, right? That's, that's something that's so beautiful to me. And so this morning as I was listening to my uh, Native American um, spiritualists, uh, Paul Whitefeather, and um, I gotta get these cards, and we're gonna use Joseph Bell. As I was uh, listening to uh, Paul Whitefeather, the news come from the high spirits of the natives, or indigenous peoples, or those of us who are rooted and grounded in this planet and love everything about it. Um, that we are at the tipping point of mass ascension and we are actually um, our thought processes are changing our feelings are changing things are very emotional uh, there's a lot of uh, confusion maybe fear um, stress wondering what's going on as far as things in the universe or on this planet well, let me tell you, first off, this planet is protected. And so are the good people, the meek of the earth. Those that love this planet, those that, you know, uh, wish to see better things on this planet, those invest in the loving and unconditional love of the things they are and the things around them. We have already ascended. Now we're waiting for you to understand that these things are peace they are healing they are they raise your energy they raise your vibration and that um god loves us all the universe loves us all and each and every one of us are going to be blessed so some of us has walked ahead and we've made a pathway and now it is time, the time has come where we have hit critical mass, the tipping point, which means it's going to spread like wildfire from here out. We are talking wildfire. So we have a release, which the old things are gone and the new things are coming. <laughs> Creation, you saw those fall on the floor. So we have the release of the old and the creation of the new. I never pulled three oracle cards before. And everything is still yet veiled. So, you know, um, to open your third eye that you can see with your intuition is what you want to do. You know, God's world is a spiritual world. Uh, it's in the mind, the spirit, the sword, thoughts, feelings, understandings. Um, to open this eye, to get your intuition, to talk to God is not that hard. You just want to kind of close your eyes and see a clearing come. And you know your penal gland, you can see it's a real thing that's in your head. They already know what it is. So it's called the penal gland. It looks just like this. It looks like a pine cone. Okay? But an open pine cone. This is an acorn. I couldn't find a pine cone. This is a rose quartz. Uh, beautiful. It's to bring love. But the thing is, is it, it sets right in the center of your brain. And it is like a, um, it's like an antenna. 
when it's opened up, it can see everything around you in a 360-degree um, thing. It's written about in throughout time, throughout history. It isn't something that's advertised. People don't go around talking about spirituality too, too much, but it does give you the power to, you know, got the eye in the back of your head kind of thing to watch for uh, just to get a deeper feeling of what's going on around you. Okay, it is involved with the spiritual world. You do want to root yourself into the earth before you do get involved because you don't want to go woo and be floating around all up there with everything. You want to ground yourself so that you don't go off like a kite. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So make sure you ground yourself and begin working on opening this third eye, which is where you find your clairvoyance, ESP, uh, special, you know, indications from the universe, nudges from the spirit, nudges from nature, nudges from God, nudges from creator source, nudges from your ancestors, you know, to tell you, to help you on your path as we begin now in changing our cosmology and working towards our innate image of God, which is in us, um, the love in our hearts, the peace, the joy, you know, um, uh, the healing, these abilities that were promised to us from the beginning of time, right? And now we have to do the work to find these gifts that are within us, right? If you feel that you're, you know, been called at, at all to be spiritual, then indeed practice and and go for it because we need as many light workers as we can get. Okay, so please like and subscribe and share if you like my channel or if I can entertain you in any way. Today I just happened to be out in the garden all day planting my watermelon, my cantaloupes, my peppers, and so I had my hat on. And this hat makes me smile. I like it. So I decided to keep it on while I do my channel because I am a lady that likes hats. I have always liked hats. Um, and the more odd and different the hat, the better I like it. So, you know, but that's, that's just how I am. I like to play with life. I'm still like that little girl that likes to dress up, right? And hats are my thing. I don't care what kind of hat it is either. I like all hats. You know, hats have a great symbolism, right? Sometimes we wear many hats, they say, you know, and I kind of feel like that too, you know, and you do too as a wife, a mother, a caretaker. How many, that's three hats right there. A job, four hats. If you wore a hat for everything you did, how many hats a day would you wear? Yeah, that's a good thing to think about because that should help you with your self-esteem. You should say, wow, I am a woman or I am a man that wears many hats. You know, I'm a cook, I'm a dishwasher, you know, all those hats. Those are all abilities that you have, gifts, and they're innate. And believe this, you have a lot more and some of them are magical. Okay, where are we going today, spirit? Oh, Holy Spirit, great creator of this universe, great creator of creations. Thank you so much for this opportunity to be here. We love you. We pray for all good things to be told unto us, the promise of the future, the promise of bringing peace on earth and goodwill to all creatures where we all get what we deserve, which is a home and our food and our education and our medical and our travel because traveling are experiences that you can learn from and this whole earth is a planet this whole planet is a schoolhouse right 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 this whole planet is a schoolhouse now I pulled out disappointment first, disillusion, leave action, change, abandonment, detachment, soul searching, journey, seek higher meaning and wisdom. So to seek higher meaning and wisdom takes you out of that. Is anybody feeling like this? You know, 
that life rejected them? Do you feel like somebody out there is feeling like they were rejected, told no? You're not allowed to be a part of life. You're not allowed to have a good life. It's not for you. You weren't meant for something like that. Well, let me tell you something. That's a lie. See that? That message? Yeah, that's a lie. This is not what you were meant for. You were not meant to work in drudgery. You were not meant to have your cups you know, ruined, that you would have to walk away from them. You know, you're not meant to be in this situation. It's not, it's not, it's not what we're meant for. It's not what any human is meant for. None of us. You know, I don't understand where this card comes from, actually. I, I don't know actually how to explain it. It does have to do with the crown chakra, and it is about being, you know, disconnected from the universe because the crown chakra is where we, you know, we connect with the universe to our head because that's, you know, this is the head and it does all the, the work of the thinking. The brain does everything. And so, if we are not connected with all things, including the universe, we could feel as if we have to walk away and that, you know, things don't necessarily belong to us. But that's why I'm here, to let you know that that's a lie. And the devil is a liar, an illusion. The devil, you know... The only hold that the low-level energies have over us, and I am going to call it an energy. I wish I would call it an energy all the time. But because we've all been reading in the Bible or been to church or somehow throughout our lives have learned that everybody knows the devil, so it don't matter who you are. Um, the thing is, is if you believe in lies, you'll feel like that. And what is the lie? Well, the lie is that you're not worthy of having good things and you have to walk away from them. That's the lie. Because creation says you need to release. It's right under release. So release those thoughts that you're not, um, I don't want to say the word entitled, deserving of better. Nobody's entitled, but we all deserve certain things, and it's innate in us to have those things. So, um, can you tell us why we got the Eight of Cups here, Holy Spirit? What, what's this Eight of Cups about? Eight of Cups, that's disappointment, walking away. You know, um, leaving things behind that didn't feel good, didn't work out. Well, you know, that, that's good, actually, to walk away from things that don't work out. We should always turn our back on things that aren't good for us. Um, people, places, situations, experiences. You know, uh, if it doesn't bring us a higher vibration, if we're not humming and creating then we definitely need to walk away. So what's this about? What are we walking away from here? Ah, uh, somebody's walking away from religion, leaving religion. The Hierophant here is all about religion, okay? In the spiritual world of religion, it looks like we're getting a message that a lot of people are leaving the church, leaving religion. And as I said, we are at the beginning of a mass ascension. And um, 
I would say that people have learned that we do not prey upon people who have been tortured and murdered, such as Jesus Christ, and to put him out there in the forefront as if, you know, praying to Jesus that he's a God that will save you, and they murdered him and stole his blood and used it to create the material world. Um, this is occult work, occult magic. It is, I'm not saying Jesus was a part of it. I'm saying those that did the murder, those that ordered it, they are the ones that created it. So we had a wonderful man in Jesus who taught us a lot of wonderful things, but he was also murdered and they used his, they actually portrayed it as something sacred on crosses so that we would see it and remember it every day. I remember it always kept me so sad. I was always sad. I had to actually step back from that because um, to me it just, it didn't feel right that I should um, pray and worship a, mur a murdered man. So I, that's when I step and ask creator of creations, you know, and I began working in a new way, not that I didn't love Jesus, because I did. I was very much in love with Jesus, but I had to retire because um, it just didn't seem like to me the truth. No father would send his son to be murdered. No father would send his son to be murdered. Crossing over to calmer waters. So let us cross to calmer waters. Um, and that is, that's a fact. No father would send his son to be murdered. But because of the fact that people put Jesus out there after he was murdered, it became almost like a symbol. Yes, sacrifice your children. Sacrifice your children. That's what I saw. They sacrificed a man who was a child of God. It's the same as it's okay to sacrifice the children, no matter who they are. And I did not like it. No, I did not. I did not agree. And I ended up carrying a lot of weight because of it. Because I loved God and I wanted to experience the experience of the the rapture of God, the love of God, the peace of God, the glory of God, the discipline of God, to be able to arrange my life. You know, I just was like, I was like a hunter looking for God, you know, and I did not find God in that situation whatsoever. So I turned my back on that. And, and that's just true. <laughs> yes, it is. It was a tower for me. It was. Everything that I believed came crashing down to the ground. And um, I mean, I was carrying all this weight of trying to find my spirituality and believing and looking, you know, at this, this situation of Jesus and the murder and what he must have went through and I was like, oh, my God, that's the most evil thing I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen nothing as evil as that. And I had a tower. Everything fell out from underneath of me. And I thought to myself, where do I turn? You know, I, 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 all I knew was just... Where do I turn? And so I began praying to the good because I didn't know a name. I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to move forward. And so I just started praying to the good. And I began practicing spiritual things, such as tarot card. Um, books seemed to talk to me, the masters around the world, you know, certain spiritualists, some philosophers, you know, so I began learning 
about multiple things other than just what was in the Bible because I could no longer read the Bible. It was almost like whatever was in there hated me because I had come to this conclusion that it was evil, that that was very, very evil, what was done. And again, we get no and conflict. But it was evil. And we all know it was evil. And I am here to bring the consciousness to understand the evilness of it. The blood work is a cult work. We are not to spill blood upon the ground. We are not to kill. We are not to murder. We are not to torture. We are not to take the innocence away from others. We are not to try to steal, um, well, for one thing, why would you want to kill a man like Jesus? That was my question. Queen of Wands. Yeah, why? Why? Queen of Wands. Wise, charismatic leader, good at communicating, authoritarian, honest, efficient, passionate, extrovert, inspire others, creative. Yeah, um, why would you want to murder Jesus? So I had conflict. Like I said, I had a tower moment. I realized it was wrong. Whatever spirits were in the Bible, when I began to start reading it again, began attacking me. And I was being attacked by demons and spirits. And they were mean and horrible and said horrible things to me because I'm clairvoyant. The spirits can talk to me through the words. And I could feel them. I'm an empath. I could feel these things going on. And so I shut the Bible in... Um, 2015, I shut it. I shut it just like this. I went, I went, and I was like, oh no, I can't, I can't go in there. It's, that's over. And that's when all I knew to do was to pray to the good. And I realized that there's a possibility that the devil was, or, you know, low level energies wrote that book, and there was a lot of evil spirits in there and demons. And um, it would be best that a lot of people didn't really get deep into the spiritual world of what is in there. Ten of Cups. Yes. Yes. Do not follow murdered people or anybody that's been murdered. Can you imagine? No. 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 Follow the rainbow. Look up. Look up high. Look at them looking up into the sky. Follow the rainbow. Look up. Look up. Don't look to the picture of a murdered man. Don't look to the blood that, that fell from a murdered man to save you because that's a cult. You're working with the devil. That's devil work. See? The blood of Jesus Christ is shed by the devil, by Satan. No man, no father would send his son to die for you and me. It can't be done. He can't do that. We have to take responsibility for our life. We cannot say, cover our sins in your blood, Jesus. That's the devil. That's the devil. It's evil. It's dark. It's ugly. And gives people leeway to think they can do things and then be covered up by it. You see the evil in it? Do you see the evil in it? Oh my God. The devil. Do you see what I just said? The devil created that. To chain you up. The blood of Jesus Christ is devil work. It's a murder. And every time you plead that blood over you, 
you are working with the devil saying it's okay. Fathers can send their sons to be murdered. Don't do that. Pray to the good. Pray to the rainbow. I don't care. Pray to the most high consciousness. The consciousness of love, unconditional love, unconditional truth, goodwill, kindness, gentleness, education, housing. Pray to the God of good. And then walk in truth with yourself and God. That's all. Walk in truth with yourself and God. Ask for instruction. Ask for knowledge. Ask for wisdom. Or at least just be a good human being. Be kind. Be gentle. Be loving. And if you don't know how to do that, you can say, I am going to try to be more loving to myself. And when you're more loving to yourself, that image of God in you, you soften up and you're capable of giving more love to others. It's just that simple. It's not hard. What's hard is overcoming the mass hypnosis that Satan has put over everybody and to thinking that the blood of a man, a human, the blood of a human, because Jesus was a human, even though he was spiritual, even though he was a son of God, which he was, he was beautiful, you know, he was trying to help, he was trying to do his best, and then, you know, he was betrayed and murdered. So we don't look at the betrayal and the murder. We don't give that credence other than to say that was very evil. We take the message. We use the message Jesus sent us because the message is the only thing that was valuable. The murder was the works of ugly darkness. Queen of Cups, yes. The work was ugly darkness and I am telling you the truth so we see here the people are leaving the church whether they know why they're crossing over to calmer waters to carrying the heavy burden of this this devil work of the murder of Jesus Christ had a tower there's conflict. The fight for your right to be free. Fight for your right to see through the illusion. Then we come to the King of Wands. And he is wise, charismatic leadership, good at communicating. The truth be told, you stand fast in your truth. And you know what right and wrong you know the difference between good and evil. God told you to be discerning. You were told to discern. And the rainbow. Discernment. Brings the rainbow happiness and joy. And we got the queen of cups. Intuition. Nurturer. Well loved. Kind. Warm. Empathetic. Purity in thought, poetic, creative, artist, dreamer, charisma. So yes, I'm telling you to continue to pray because the universe hears you. There is good out there. There's good in the universe. Do I have a name for the God I love? No, I do not. I love the image of God that is in me, though. And I know that image was created from the very beginning of light from source. It's the fire, it's the chi, it's the life force. The life force, right? <clears throat> Are you guys drinking your ginger water? Hmm? You drinking your ginger water? You know, they found out ginger has life force too. <clears throat> yes, drink your ginger water. Okay, everybody, I love y'all so much. And I was really 
happy to have this session with you. Um, I know things aren't always pretty and what we would like to be, but knowing the truth and being able to see it, walk through it, discern it, process it, understand it, and move beyond that which is not true will bring you over to calmer waters, okay? The ugly truth is, is we've always been told there's evil. There truly is evil. It truly is, was, and has been here. And it's time we opened our eyes to it. Because what is evil? Lying. The devil is a liar. And we have to know how to discern the difference between good and what is evil. The devil is a liar. Okay, people, be free thinkers, okay? Be a free thinker. Think for yourself. Think for yourself. Don't don't think what people have tried to get you to think forever. Be strong. Be creative and think for yourself. Open your penal gland, your third eye. Look it up. Everybody's got a phone. Look up to penal gland. Look at what it's for. Go get your little pine cone and sit and stare at it. And then go inside. Because you can do that, you know, you can close your eyes. Right now, I'm at my penal gland. I see it. It is fully open. It is fully open. There's a door in there that's open, and I get messages from the universe. So, I'm here to give you this message today that blood is occult works. The beautiful words, the beautiful love, the beautiful blessings, the beautiful healings of Jesus Christ were works of God. But the blood was the work of the devil, the murder, the crucifixion, and the betrayal. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray we see that. It doesn't matter how it happened, whatever it was, it ended up being evil. And they used that to create the world. They built the material world out of that. So, okay. I think I'm going to let you go. Let's have a good word from the good tarot. Um, everybody be working on your love, okay? Your love of self. I am loved. I am loved. I am be loved. It's the beautiful words. We are coming into the phase. Oh, my goodness, I about did these upside down. Um... We are coming into the phase of mass consciousness awakening. And um, <clears throat> make sure they're all in the right way. Yes. Mass consciousness awakening. And our world is about to, our planet is about to expand and get better. So get ready for the right people. Get ready for the truth. Get ready for your higher vibration. Get ready for your purification. Get ready for riding the storm out, okay? Get ready. Because people are going to be losing it. Because a lot of people won't even think of anything new. They can't imagine. How can God bring heaven to earth if they won't even imagine new and better and more lovely things, more lovely thoughts, more lovely uh, ways of uh, moving in their life? Praying to a, the God that is out in creation instead of a dead man that was hung on a cross who come with a message. He was not God. God is more powerful than that. Yeah. God is more powerful than that. God would never send a son to die. Never. Why? God would not sacrifice his own child. I will not go back from there. What's the, what's the message? This is from the good tarot, the most high. And they, the spirit of the devil and the Satans, and the ugly dark lords, be gone. Six of the earth, giving and taking. Let me see what we got here. Six of earth. 
I need to study this more. Forgive me. I love you guys. Bear with me. Six of Earth. Unexpected resources. Happy surprises. Generosity. Hey, that's a good message from the good spirit. And that was the truth that I gave to you today, okay? True, true that. Yeah, don't, don't be afraid to tell the devil he's a liar and to get out of your space. Don't be afraid of Satan. Don't be afraid of those low-level energies. They're dead anyway. They're just spirits. They ain't even got to connect. They got no power. In the first chapter, if you're a Bible thumper like I was, God tells you, I give you power over the beasts of the earth, over the fowl of the air, and over the fish of the sea. He gave you the power over them. You tell them to buck off. What I have sent forth in love comes back to me many times over. As the generosity of others becomes apparent and unexpected resources show up, the universe is exhibiting its generosity, reminding me that the world is full of pleasant surprises. Inside the pretty package is tangible aid, a gift from spirit. Don't you love that? Inside this package is tangible aid, a gift from spirit, a gift of blooming and blossoming. Just when I was beginning to doubt, I am reminded of the treasures I am entitled to receive that show up at my door. What will I unwrap today? What will you unwrap today, people? See those coins? What will you unwrap today? Do you have a new thought? Can you think of something new? Open your mind and learn, well, open your mind to love yourself. Because when you love you, you're loving the image of God. And when you love the image of God, you and the universe become one. You become one with the power of the, the great void that's out there, that great place. And you vibe high and you smile and you become confident and you realize that you were meant for more than crying over a man who was murdered on a cross. Weeping and sorrowing forever. How long will the weeping and sorrowing go on? It's time to let that man go and live yourself. Learn yourself. He cannot save you. He cannot save you. He couldn't save himself. What the hell? That's truth. And I'm going to pull one more card on that. He couldn't save himself. I don't know what happened. It was a horrible thing. But I guarantee you God ain't going to let that happen to me. God won't let that happen to me. I know it. I got angels. I got ancestors. I got everybody around me. All my people. All my team. My team is the universe. God would never let that happen to me. Never. A father never sends his son to die. Rational, cautious, responsible, dependable, trustworthy, kind, methodical, financial stability, hard work and resourcefulness, conservative, knight of pinnacles. Yeah, that's a heart. See that? That don't look like anything that God would do to me. I'm riding my horse. I am a Knight of Pentacles. That actually is, well, I thought for a minute it was Virgo, but it's not. Taurus, I think. But all I know is this, that a God of grace and goodness would never need us to empower him, pray to him for deliverance when the deliverance is already ours. We just got to understand we have been delivered. We are delivered. We are strong as a people and we can stand up for that which is right and true and honorable without wallowing in the blood of a dead man who came with a message. But that message was not a message 
from our Most High Father, our Most High Mother, our Most High Creator, because God doesn't deal in blood, just spirit. Jesus was betrayed. Seven of Swords. Betrayal. Away from the norms, betrayal, deception, ulterior motives, stealth, a scheme, isolated, calculating, outcast, disrespect, a fib. It was a lie. That card just, they tried to steal your spirit. They stole your money. They stole your mind. It was an illusion, a black magic occult illusion. Okay, well, we know what to do, right? We know that we turn to the Most High God. And we begin to find out and research what's going on so that we know for ourselves. We no longer listen to what we're taught. We have to actually look and see if it's true. Because the lies are so deep can't see through them you actually got to stand up and make the effort to look over to the other side okay with that i love you guys please like share and subscribe and um if you have any comments please leave them i would love to talk to you please have a wonderful day god bless you bye bye